What's up, everybody? Okay, in a hot summer, 100 degree day or night, what could be the worst thing happening to your family? I guess everybody can imagine right now. Uh, yeah, your AC stopped working, especially this uh, this uh, this fan stopped spinning. And then uh, uh, two nights ago, I used the screwdriver. I just gave it a, gave it a spin, and the spin started. But uh, it's really getting slower and slower. And then uh, uh, when the AC started running, I noticed the cooling time just double, triple, or quadruple. So it's getting very slow to get the temperature. So this makes me think that uh, you know, in an old car, you have a weak battery, and you couldn't you couldn't start your car, and then this probably can be related to this AC unit. Is there something like battery inside this to help start the, uh, f uh, the fan and also the uh, compressor? So let's take a look. So uh, safety first. Uh, you see that thing? That's the, uh, the breaker. So you need to take it out. All right. So keep it in your pocket so this can work as a lockout tag out. This is safety first. Nobody but me can re-energize this equipment. So let's go around. You see that power coming from there and goes inside this this box. And let's take it open. Use the 8mm socket, but you can use the uh, English standard version if you want. Okay. So one, two, and two more here. Three, four, it's really easy. So it's just four screws. You can get this unit open. Okay, this is guy that what I'm trying to relate to. This is kind of a, a work that's a car battery. This is a, a huge capacitor. So it's 45 microfarad uh, over 7.5 microfarad. And this guy, if this one dies or deteriorated, it causes 95% of the uh, AC failure. So. And that's the thing that we're trying to figure out if this is the wrong, is the wrong one. Okay. Uh, before I start, you know this is also uh, electronic safety. We really, really need to be careful. Okay. Even though we shut off the breaker, we still need to uh, test see if uh, see if there's still uh, residual energy left over. So we put a, a ground one here, and you see the uh, power line goes from here to either this one and that one. So we touch this one, see there's no power here. And also there's no power there. Okay, so we're safe. Uh, the second thing uh, you need to be mindful is this capacitor, you know, it collects all the, uh, uh, energies on the on the terminals so uh, occasionally if you touch it something might happen or you you still have a the rigid, rigid, rigid residual a static discharge to you we don't want that to happen so before i really touch that the second thing is we really want to discharge this one first okay so this is a this is a common and this is a, the herm it's called hermetic sealed compressor connection to your compressor and this brown one is the fan so uh, you grab a screwdriver use the uh, insulated area never touch this uh, metal part first okay try to discharge this one and then no 
try to discharge this one. Okay, so that should be safe. All right. So the next thing is before you take it off, as a good engineer, you always take a picture. Okay, so which wire connect to which uh, connection? So we can see this is a common. See here it says C common, and this is uh, uh, the compressor. So it says Herm, hermetic sealed compressor Herm, and on the back side should be the fan. If you, okay, that's the fan. So. Uh, remember, yellow is common. The brown stuff is for fan. Okay, the brown stuff that hit the fan that caused all the problems. So <laughs> that's a easy way, easy way to remember. Okay. We got the uh, compressor terminal out as well. Okay, and the lastly, the common connection. Yeah, when this thing first went out, I was calling around for the AC repairman. Guess how much they quote me? They said, uh, you need like this, uh, we'll charge you up around $700. Oh my goodness, $700. Okay, everyone, guess how much this capacitor cost? From $11 to $40, depends on the quality of manufacture. So, so here today, we might fix this uh, AC unit with like less than $20 comparing with the $700. Let's see if that will happen, okay? Uh, okay, you see a bracket holding this capacitor here? This is uh, rather small. Let me use a different socket. Probably seven. Let me try seven. Yep, seven. Okay. Oh, it's really hard. Maybe I try this one. Maybe six. Does six work? No. Five sixteen? No. Quarter? Yeah, it's a quarter. Okay. Let's use the quarter socket. Okay. Right out. Oops. Oops. All right. Just be careful. Don't lose anything. Okay, we'll take out this guy. All right, guys, this is uh, the new one I bought from Amazon. Cost about $18. Okay, oh, the same, uh, same, same sh shape, but a little bit uh, different height, but that doesn't matter. So as long as they're the same shape, uh, the bracket should, should work. Okay. See, this one also has uh, uh, the three identical terminals, the common, the fan, and the hermetically, uh, hermetically sealed compression, okay? So what does this 45 over uh, 7.5 uh, microfarad really mean? And also plus minus 6%. So that means this 45 will probably power the uh, the biggest uh, application that's the uh, hermetic sealed compressor so compressor needs more power to kick on and uh, the 7.5 is for the fan to kick on 
So if this capacitor really gets bad, and it and the uh, the specification is uh, 45 plus minus six percent. So 45 plus minus six percent. That's 42.3 through 47.7. If this one is falls below this uh, 42.3, it won't it won't work well for the compressor. Of course, for the uh, uh, for the fan, if this is one is really lower than 7.05. Microfarity, the fan will probably not kick up. So let's let's take a measure. Let's see, the first let's see the fan. Yeah, take it, take it, take it. This is bad. Use use another one. All right, let's start replacing this guy. Right now, okay. Uh, guys, so please, facing the uh, the tag for the uh, capacitor outward. So this way, in the future, for it's it's easier for you or somebody else to to take a picture or to get the part number and the specifications, you know, etc. So. Okay, so this way will be easier for everybody to read. Okay. okay, now let's connect our connectors. So remember the common? Common is here. The yellow one. The brown stuff. Hey, hey, the brown stuff. The fan. Okay, the brown stuff hit the fan. Okay. All right. And remember the hermetic compressor, blue. Okay, the one I remembered is is comparing this to the big ocean, blue, blue ocean in bigger capacity. Blue, blue, blue. All right, that's good. Let's put them back together. Let's restart our AC, see if it works. This is off, and let's put it on on mode. Cool. Alright, so uh, 
see the second floor right now is 91 degree uh, we're trying to cool it down to 80 and then uh, uh, the living room is 86 uh, we're trying to cool it to, to 80 the, the current time is 808 let's see how fast we can cool down all right we'll see you in a little bit good morning everyone so this is the following day you see the uh, AC fan is running pretty and then the compressor is working properly and I do want to point out that you know last night the uh, second floor got 91 degrees and then takes uh, several hours to cool it down to normal like 80 so all right so I do recommend everyone you know if you haven't had AC issues for a while or if you never had an AC issue do take your time cut off that power open up this compartment take picture of your capacitor because really believe me uh, sooner or later you're gonna need it uh, you don't don't be like me that in the middle of the night and then when your AC is out and you have 85 86 degrees inside your house and you really need to replace that capacitor all right uh, thanks for watching the video if you think this video is helpful please like subscribe and let your friends know and get prepared have a cool summer see ya next time bye